Um, you know, you, you got a little taste of it in Dublin, Ireland, because it truly it was a home game for us. Um, but they've never played at Notre Dame Stadium. And so I want them to embrace it, right? Embrace the moment, embrace being in this special place. But that has nothing to do with you doing your job. And, and that's the common theme, right, is that you'll hear me say is that we had a chance to come back into this stadium with our great fans, with our students, um, in, in what I believe would be just a packed, great stadium. But with all that being said, embrace and enjoy it pregame. But once the foot hits the ball, you're focused on one thing, is that's win the interval. You're focused on just doing your job on that play. And um, nothing else matters. We often say uh, 120 by 53 and a third. Right, same thing as in Dublin, Ireland. Like, that's really what matters. Enjoy it, because not every place in the country is like Notre Dame Stadium. But your focus has to be once the game starts, just to win the interval. Do those things that we talk about that it takes to win each play. Front row on the right, Pete Sampson. Uh, Marcus, when you talk about opportunities for growth, those interests as you looked at the tape of Sam, mm -hmm. what you would have picked out there. Um, are there any moments here where he's like, this is actually could be tuned up a little bit despite, you know, the, the great sound? Yeah, it was uh, the one third down that we ended up kicking the field goal. Um, you know, we probably didn't make the read or put the ball in the placement exactly where we wanted it to go. Um, the play before that, he thought he was getting an all-out pressure, made a check, um, and ended up not being all-out pressure. You know, and, and there's different tells maybe that we could show him that, hey, um, Make sure that uh, you know you hopefully make the correct call there. But I mean, I'm, I'm being really picky. You know, ball security is something I've always talked to him about. You know, and he likes to scramble back around there with that one hand on the ball, and, and we're trying to break that habit. So, guys, I'm 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 being picky. He played it really extremely well, and um, he's a very focused and mature individual that. Um, will continuously work at everything, but there's always learning opportunities um, in every single game we play. Whose idea was that? Was that something Jared Parker brought with him? And how, if so, or how, how do you guys see that as an advantage? Him under center or not under center? Under center. Yeah, it's, you know, there's, there's different reasons why you put a quarterback under center and sometimes you keep him in the gun. Um, but, but that's something our office staff talks in depth about, about, hey, this play would be best run under center, you know, and, and a lot has to do with, you know, if it's a pass, what what it can do to the defense from an under center position in terms of play action and things like that. And if it's a run, it's all a lot of it has to do with the angles of, of the running back and then the quarterback in terms of maybe not doing it out of gun. So the offensive staff really takes time to, to make those decisions.